To get your Homey Pro a local backup, begin by disconnecting your Homey Pro from whatever location you have it and bringing it to your local computer. You'll then need a USB cable, one that'll plug into your PC, so your standard USB end, and the other end that'll go into your Homey Pro. You'll also need a pin that'll go into the bottom of the Homey Pro. Okay, so now that we've got that, we're going to depress there's a small hole at the bottom of the Homey Pro. We're going to push the button inside there while we connect the USB. So this is going to take some fingers for me. I'm going to try to get this on video for you. And you can kind of hear the click. That lets me know I have that in the right spot. So while I hold that down, I'm going to Plug that in, and once I have an orange ring, I can remove this. Then I'm going to click on the Homey Pro USB tool, click on Next. And if you get this error message here, we're going to download that driver. We are then going to go to our downloads and we're going to run that driver. If you see the don't run, click on more info and we're going to run that anyway. Click on yes and follow the prompts to go through. Wait for the installation very patiently here for it to finish up. Not sure why this is taking so long. Usually these are almost instantaneous on my computer. Okay, then we can click on finish. Try this again, click on next. And there we have it. We are now going to click on create a backup and I'm just going to put this into my downloads folder and we're going to click on save. Waiting patiently. You know what we do then? We make thumbnails. Get this thumbnail nice and shiny. Hey, eh? there we go. Thumbnail completed. Apparently this takes quite a while. Waiting patiently as the amount of data that's getting accumulated by files on both my camera and my screen recorder just get large. What's kind of cool here actually, I just noticed this, is the Homey Pro and what it's doing on the screen actually are exactly the same. That's a little bit clever. Okay, now that this thing is finally finished, you can click on Done. The file that it will have made will show up in your Downloads folder. And what I like to do with mine is I like to go into my Google Pro Drive and I keep a cloud back up there. Just copy the file over. You can name it whatever you like. But this way, if you need to use this thing somewhere else, you can go ahead and do so. If you ever need to restore from a backup, you connect up to this utility the same way that we just connected to it to get the orange light. And you can go ahead and restore using that file.